Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Patterson of Properties. And before I get started, once again, peace, love, thank you for keeping up the good work for all of the military, emergency services, when it comes to the police department, uh, medics, um, nurses, retail store workers, grocery store workers, truck drivers, construction workers, I like janitors, security guards, the list goes on and on. Because people like you all are ensuring that you're keeping everybody safe and keeping everything afloat, keeping materials coming from one point A to point B and all that good stuff and making sure that everybody is um, good to go and those that are still allowed to work in the restaurants. Thank you guys for doing what you're doing because a lot of people are suffering right now and um, a lot of the people that can and are keeping everything afloat, thank you very much, greatly appreciate that. Today's video is really gonna be short, um, basically just talking about uh, what's going on with the COVID-19 crisis, unfortunately. The banks are offering deferment payments because it's crazy, even when I made my payments, I saw the option for deferment payments and whatnot when I paid my mortgages and all that good stuff. So I was like, no, I don't need that, thank God. But um, I know a lot of people do, and I'm just gonna go over, you know, what all the craziness going on with the, you know, the COVID crisis, you know, COVID-19, Corona crisis. You know, it's, it's, it's gotten pretty crazy out here at the end of the day when you look at it and um, in today's world. And I definitely need to talk about one aspect that is going to affect real estate investors um, and even tenants and talk about the one upside for real estate wholesalers all at the same time. Unfortunately, even when the economy is bad, you have an option to, of um, taking advantage of certain opportunities that are out there. Not take advantage of people, but take advantage of the opportunities because the job of a wholesaler is to help a person who's looking for a property at a good deal and to help a person who is a distressed property homeowner. That is the job of a wholesaler. It's not them taking advantage of somebody's bad situation. The job of a real estate wholesaler is to ensure that, hey, he or she is ensuring that parties A and B get what they want and there's a lot of and it's going to be a lot of tired landlords if not if not already out there in regards to what's going on because a lot of people are not going to be able to make their uh, rent rent payments and then obviously for a lot of landlords they're not going to be able to make their mortgage payments so it's going to put a lot of people in a bad situation a lot of people don't want to have to take out more debt on their properties you know to, and usually when they do it's because they want to acquire more properties or do something else from an economic perspective not just so that they can maintain. So you're gonna have a lot more tired landlords out there just stating that, hey, I don't want this property anymore. It's not really worth the headache. I just wanna sell it, I don't care what price. And that's where us wholesalers come into the mix when it comes to things like that, or when a real estate agent comes into the mix. It just depends on the situation. You know what I mean? But like I said, at the end of the day, it is crazy uh, about um, what's going on with the COVID-19 crisis. Um, the national and global economy has definitely been disrupted with massive layoffs of customers, even like myself, only buying necessities, because that's where I'm at right now. I'm at a, hey, if I don't need it, I'm not buying it. If it's not an asset, definitely not buying it. <laughs> so I'm all at the maintain stages right now, and I would advise anybody out there to do the same, okay? Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Because unlike the 2008 financial crisis, banks aren't foreclosing or seizing assets and masses to cover the losses as of yet. Now, major banks have already announced critical modifications to their banking and product policies. One of the biggest modifications is that banks are offering their customers a certain time period, grace period, where homeowners have the option to defer their payments for a couple of months, meaning that customers do not have to make their mortgage payments now, but they definitely will have to make them later. And in certain instances, because every situation is different, certain instances, um, one's credit can definitely be affected by not making those mortgage payments, you know, and, and that's something that I don't know about you, but my credit is, um, it's not, a, it's not only my, my lifeline, it's how I can, I, I like to look at credit as not credit, get it, but credit and how can I leverage it so I can purchase something that is an asset and then take more money and do the same thing. That's how I look at credit when it comes to me. Everybody's different though. You know, a lot of people have that credit, get it mentality and that's fine too. So it's a crazy situation no matter how you look at it. And to, to my landlords out there, I feel your pain. Um, if you could please, please keep making your mortgage payments. I don't know how, I, I don't know about you know you all, but like I said, I like, I, I like to have good credit so that I can utilize my credit to purchase more real estate. That's just, that's what good credit means to me. Not purchasing a nice car, not purchasing jewelry, but purchasing some real estate. That's what that means more to me than anything else in regards to purchasing products. One positive and interesting thing is that I'm going to take advantage of uh, that the banks are actually, not all, but some are um, offering uh, forms of 
mortgage assistant mortgage assistance programs as well as uh, home equity loans that that's that caught my attention obviously um, personal loans things of that nature but definitely the home equity lines of credit which people known as HELOCs now HELOCs the, the, the downside to them is the interest rate can be a lot higher with a HELOC however to me it's not that big of a deal if you're utilizing it to buy more assets and not just pay off debt or do something else because then you're kind of putting yourself in a, another vulnerable position but that's just my personal opinion everybody's different you leverage your money how you do uh, how you do it on your own okay one of the strat my strategies when it comes to HELOCs is that it's an open line of credit and if I just want to open a line of credit for 30 or $25,000 but I only access $10,000 and I put that into real estate because I purchase in cheaper markets um, and the real estate will just do another smart thing and just put it put it in my savings account and just sit on it, you know, because it would basically, you know, put sit on it as a rate, rainy day fund, even though we're basically in rainy days right now, you know, when you think about it and the biggest storm might be coming. So you just never know what's, you know, we're, we're in an I don't know situation right now and I'm not going to claim to be Nostradamus, so I'm not going to predict anything. Now I will just go over, like I said, this is a real short video. I will go over some of what the banks are actually offering and I'll go down line by line. Ally Bank is offering payment, uh, deferring for up to 120 days with no impact to your credit on home. Like I said, there's certain di differences. No impact uh, to your credit on home loans for customers affected by the COVID-19. So, you know, that's one option. BB&T is offering mortgage forbearance for a minimum of 90 days for customers impacted by the current crisis. BMO Harris is offering payment relief options on mortgages, homes, equity, home equity loans, and credit cards. And you can contact BM, BM, BMO Harris directly for more information. Like I said, I'm just going on. And you definitely want to do your own information, do your own research, because at the end of the day, you just never know how the situation might end up for you. Okay, so you know you got to be got to be safe all at the same time. Okay, um, don't just take it from a person on YouTube. Talk to your bank. <laughs> Have that open dialogue with them. SunTrust STI is offering mortgage forbearance for a minimum of 90 days for customers impacted by the current crisis. TD Bank is offering payment deferral program for mortgages and home equity loans or lines of credit as well as waiving late payment fees on each type of home loan product, okay? Union Bank is offering assistance with your mortgage or home equity account. For more information, obviously you wanna contact them. U.S. Bank is offering a payment forbearance up to 90 days with no late fees on mortgages for those negative impacted by the, crisis, the current crisis that we're going through right now. Webster's Bank, WBS is offering options for payment deferrals on mortgages, home equity or personal lines and small business loans based on need. Webster is also putting in place a 90 day moratorium on foreclosure of residential loans. So they're actually they're giving, trying to give people more time, you know, to, to hopefully get their stuff together. And it's like I said, moments like this is even for my people that just have a job. Moments like this is a teachable moment for us all that you just can't depend on a job. Always have some sort of backup plan if you can, even if it's a side hustle from uh, uh, Uber to Uber Eats to, to um, was it Grubhub and DoorDash and all those other delivery services, Amazon, because they're definitely in high demand right now, given the fact that, you know, everybody's being basically told to stay at home and only be able to go out for necessities like food. Wells Fargo is offering payment deferral plans for customers with mortgages, credit cards, auto loans, small business loans, and personal loans who have been impacted by the COVID-19 crisis. You know, so like I said, you got a lot of these um, institutions that are, are they're offering assistance, but they're just doing it in different ways. Charles uh, Sawab Bank offering customers with mortgages or home equity lines of credit through Charles Bank. Uh, Shawai Bank, I know I'm butchering that name, and, and Crooked Loans and can request uh, payment relief for up to 90 days. So like I said, they're giving people, and like I said, another thing is remember, it's like when you're making good money, you always want to do your best to do two things, save and use that money to invest and buy more money. I mean, buy more money, buy more assets. That's the, to me, that's the principle. The small one-on-one -on -one aspects of wealth is when you make good money, live, try to live below your means, save that money, use some of that money to make more money. You, you know, in good times or bad times, but that's just my personal opinion. And like I said, if anybody that's going through it right now, hat goes art off for you, heart goes out to you. You know, we're gonna get through this as much as we can. Just keep trying your darndest and just keep trying to make money moves and work forward and work and just you know, team up with people and all that good stuff. 
Chase Bank is offering assistance with mortgage payments. You must call the um, 1-800 number to get additional information. Citibank is offering various hardship programs for elig eligible mortgage customers. Uh, Camara Bank is offering deferrals on various lending products. Give them a call to discuss options for residential mortgage loans. East West Bank offering temporary mortgage payment relief options for those who are unable to make their mortgage payments due to the disruption that's going on right now. Fifth Third Bank is offering 90-day payment forbearance with no late fees on mortgages and home equity uh, loans. HSBC is offering financial assistance programs to help with customers mortgage or home equity line loan payments who have suffered financial hardships. Huntington National Bank's offering up to 90-day payments for Deferral all, all, of all uh, customer loans, including residential mortgages, for those experiencing financial hardships. M&T Bank is offering mortgage and home equity uh, repayment assistance to customers whose income has been reduced due to the COVID-19 impact. New York Community Bank is offering 90-day residential mortgage payment forbearance for customers whose income has be, uh, been negatively impacted by the events. Uh, PNC Bank is offering to postpone payments for up to 90 days. With, so it seems like everybody is up to 90 days. So the, the most it seems is 120 days. Um, and they're doing this with no late fees for customers with mortgages or home equity loans, among other lending products that are eligible. Regions Bank, last but not least, is offering customers mortgage payment relief upon request for 90 days for those negatively impacted by COVID-19. So at the end of the day, there's assistance that's being offered out there. For those who definitely need it, take advantage of it. Because like I said, at the end of the day, learn the terms, see if it's gonna affect your credit, see are you gonna have to pay those two months or three months all at one time? Because the, my thing, my crazy, the crazy thing is to me, it's like if I can't afford to pay one month, then I don't see how people think they're gonna be able to pay three, two or three months later down the road. I just, I'm not seeing it. But like I said, everybody's situation is different. Hopefully people, um, you know, once we get through this and hopefully when things open up within a couple of months, because that's what it's looking like, you know, business can get back to normal. But at the end of the day, for the wholesalers, it's still a virtual game. So let's just keep trying to do with our best to get motivated sellers and motivated buyers and get, get them together so they can um, handle their business and we can handle our business. All right. So stay safe. Do what you got to do at the end of the day. Stay inside if you don't have to. Practice the social distancing. That is a beautiful thing. And take care. And hopefully you guys like the video. Definitely check out the Care Bars International. If you want to buy gold, refer to others so they can buy gold and refer to other people. So you can constantly keep currency in your circle because that's what I'm all about. And in 2020, for those that are not keeping currency in your circle, they, a lot of people are suffering because of that, unfortunately. So take care and have a good day. And I definitely will see you guys later. All right.